Hi. In this video, we'll learn something about indirect formula. A formula which people rarely use, but once they start using it, they'll find immense benefit in almost any formula. And gradually you'll see how powerful this formula is if you start using it in combination of other formulas such as VLOOKUP MATCH, INDEX MATCH MATCH or some IFS or IF statement. But to understand this, we need to undergo some experiments in Excel, which we will now. So we'll start with experiment number one. First, let's start with the first experiment. Now, in the yellow cell, I'm writing A5. Now you'll gradually know why am I writing A5, but at this moment I'm writing A5 and I may ask you that if I write a formula below that which points to the cell above and if I press enter, what is going to be the natural answer? A5, I agree. This appears to be a very basic question, but now in contrast to what I've written right now, I am going to write a formula called indirect. Now indirect, I'm pointing to the yellow cell, closing the brackets. Let me first press enter and show you what comes out, what gets displayed as a result and then we'll discuss about it. Notice this time I'm getting the term blue. So basically indirect formula is asking the formula to go to a particular cell and the cell may act as a desk. That desk contains an address chit. The address chit is containing the address which is A5 and that's the reason it is taking the value from A5. To understand this through an illustration, you look at this particular diagram. A person who has been asked to go to an address. Now, unless he finds that address chit, he will not be able to locate the address to which he must go to. He is being directed to a desk which contains the address chit, in this case A5. And using that A5 or the cell reference or the address chit, he is able to pinpoint the exact location to which he must go to. So basically, we are going to relate this example with our experiment. That is, indirect formula is asking you to go to a particular desk, which is B3, the cell B3. And the cell B3, which we will consider as a desk, contains the address chit A5. And the address chit leads us to the right location, which now contains blue. At this moment, if I write A6, enter, black. If I write A1, enter, we get experiment 1. And if I write A2, nothing zero it's a blank cell if I write a space one notice I'm getting a reference error because this is an invalid address the correct address is a1 now as a sub experiment let's do one more task that is I'm going to choose this particular cell and name this as color one with no spaces this is the phenomenon of naming a cell or a range if you want to know more about it please refer to our earlier videos and at this moment, after writing the name of the cell, I'm going to press enter. Similarly, I go to the next cell and I'm going to give a nickname of color 2. Color 2 and must make sure that I press enter. Only and only then the name does get registered. So by now, color 1 is indicating the cell A5 and color 2 is indicating black. Now, if I write color 1, isn't it a valid address for Excel? right now if it is then I can effectively use indirect formula point to the cell this is just the desk on which the address chit is placed and using that address of color 1 it pinpoints me to the value of blue if you want to know more about the names you can also go to formulas tab and look at name manager because name manager will contain some of the names which I have recently given and some names which were given previously so I can delete these other three names which are not required and just be content with the two for our experiment. This may seem theoretical but believe me after one or two more videos on indirect formula which are there in the series this will be crystal clear. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come and you can also watch some of our popular programs which have been liked by a lot of viewers. See you soon.